Good morning. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of The Morning After Rolling with the Beard, where we discuss the board games that we played during game night. First game we played is Here to Slay. Here to Slay is a card game for two to six players with a lot of take that elements. During their turns, players have three action points and they can do different things such as draw a card from the deck for one action point, try to slay a monster for two action points, or they can spend three action points to pretty much mulligan their hand, turn in all their cards and draw five cards. There are multiple paths to victory in this game, one of which is to slay three monsters. The other way to win is to form a party with all six class members. If you don't like games with heavy player interaction and heavy take that elements, this may not be the game for you. I think I might fall under that category. We played this game with six players and the game seemed to go on forever and ever. It says 30 to 60 minutes, I would say it was probably every bit of the 60 minutes although it felt like an eternity it's so hard to get anything accomplished I know I, I sound like I'm griping that oh this game is so difficult but it's really just comes down to a ton of luck anytime you try to do something you have to roll a d6 to see if you're able to even do the special ability that you've gotten from obtaining the card and and even then when you want to play it players still can throw these challenge cards to just poop all over your gameplay that you wanted to do um a lot of us were getting frustrated at the table while doing this just bad die rolls uh i understand there are some cards that you can play to mitigate the luck in this that add or subtract values to the dice but overall it just comes down to a lot of dice rolling and like I said, we played this game with six players. I feel like that was way too many players to play it with. It really shouldn't go past four or five. I do, I am willing to give this game another shot only because I was just so underwhelmed with it. And I've heard great things on the internet about the game and it just really wasn't for me, but I'm gonna give it one more shot. And the next game we played was Treasure Hunter, a game designed by THE Richard Garfield. You should be familiar with that game if you're watching this video. He is the creator of some fabulous games, one of which being the little card game Magic the Gathering that you probably heard of. He's also designed King of Tokyo, King of New York, and Bunny Kingdom, amongst many other fabulous games. Treasure Hunter is definitely one of my favorites when you got six people at the table for game night. It plays two to six, and it plays six players fabulous. It is a card drafting game, sort of similar to Seven Wonders, where everyone starts with a hand of nine cards, they choose one and pass them, uh, but you don't actually reveal any of those cards until everyone has collected their hand of nine cards. Then there are three different regions on a central board between all the players, and they basically break down to green, blue, and red, I believe. But while you are drafting these cards, you'll be getting colored cards of those matching regions, the red, blue, and green and then you will one by one decide well who has the highest value or the least value of the blue cards and everyone will then reveal all their blue cards and there will be different items that are randomized uh, sometimes you don't want to win these items because they'll give you negative points but often they'll give you positive points or sometimes a special perk that you can use later on in the game but it has simultaneous play, um, a lot of hate drafting, even with six players, you can still kind of do some hate drafting because you can recall like what cards you passed to the player to your left. Maybe you've been passing a lot of low red cards and maybe you're trying to get low red values on this particular turn because there's something awesome over there. So there, there's still some hate drafting even with six. It plays fast. There's some extra little elements in there with uh, these gargoyles or goblins that you have to keep from uh, stealing your money, but you can get these dog cards to keep them away. So the theme is fun. It plays fast. It's super easy to teach. I highly recommend Treasure Hunter. We played it with six and it was just a hit with everyone. Uh, three or four of the people playing had never played before and they were all very competitive with it and there was not really a landslide victory with anyone I think I won but it wasn't by much like 10 20 bucks a good score in this game is 70 maybe points 70 dollars 70 gold 70 yen 70 pesos I don't know, 70 whatever Garfield gold Goldfield I'm just gonna stop and as things started to wind down there was only four of us and so we decided to 
bring out a classic and play a little bit of Battleship. Battleship is a area control, I don't know if I want to call it area control, it is a very abstract game with a cutesy theme pasted on top. There is nothing friendly about this game. You can really corner other people in this game and just do horrible things to them. Great thing about this game is the board the players construct the board prior to playing, so there's a lot of gameplay variety there. You can make these zany shaped boards and just have the craziest little sheep battle and battle sheep. But players have their tokens and they start off by stacking all their tokens on one spot in the board and they pick up a number of these tokens, be it one to almost all of them if they like, and move them in a straight line to another region on the board. Sort of has a Othello-esque feel, if you will, but it plays up to four. And the tokens on this, the little chips that represent your sheep are fabulous. They are some of the most satisfying chips that you can pick up and clack at the table. We played this game with three players and I played it with two, three, and four players. Four players is fun, chaotic. Three players is probably the best because there can be some nasty table talk and trying to convince other people to do things and maybe look for good plays for them that they didn't see that kind of help you out a little bit. And with two players, it's almost like a game of chess with sheep, furry, fluffy, white, cottony game of chess. Don't we all love that? I think we do. Well, and that concludes another episode of the Morning After Rolling with the Beard. If you found this video entertaining, please consider clicking that subscribe button and join us again. Thanks for watching. And remember, when you're at the table rolling dice and pushing cubes, it's not the size of the beard on your face that matters, but the size of the beard in here. I do need a catch line. Morning after, morning, morning.